Greetings all, The Devious Monkey here. I've done a number of tests today with this Insta360 ONE R since I updated the firmware. It was basically a bunch of boring crap, so I deleted it all and I figured that I needed to do this in my studio with proper lighting to see how it comes out. One thing that I was very concerned with and also Yankee Cowboy noticed how noisy the footage was, especially when I was in, in here in my office. And at the time I was sitting at my desk, you know, I've got two 27 inch screens in front of me, a 40 inch TV and lights all over this place. And they were pretty much, I mean, the studio stuff wasn't on, but the office stuff was on. And the office stuff is relatively bright because I need to be able to see what the hell I'm doing when I'm doing work. So I felt like the footage was too grainy considering how much light was actually on. So I decided that, okay, now let's do it in the studio with the softbox on and all these lights everywhere on. And I know that they look good normally if I'm using the A6600 or even the ZV-1. So let's see how it looks when I do all this with the Insta360. Now, I have not changed any of the settings from what I had set them for before. So it's it's 1080p, 24 frames a second. Wind noise is off now, so it should be good with the audio, although it was good yesterday, so I'm, I'm fine with the audio, yay. Other than that, everything else is pretty much on auto. Now I have it on super wide, and I did have it on vivid, and I don't remember if I had left it on vivid or if I put it to standard, because I wanted to see what it looked like. I felt like my skin looked oddly pink yesterday when I was sitting there in front of my desk. So I, today I'll note it on the screen what I have it set at when I look at it after this. I just felt like the skin tone was off. The rest of the stuff wasn't too bad. Now, of course, I'm looking at this dinky ass little screen. It looks okay. I mean, it's wide enough that I can actually see over here out the window or, or where the blinds are and you can see the blue of the walls right there. But for the most part, it you know, I have it to the yellow lighting everywhere and it kind of looks like it's white and yellow, like it should be. And I think I look normal color, maybe pinkish, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> then I'm just gonna have to start going through and, and playing with the different color settings. I did not get the table today, although I'm not supposed to get it. So that overhead table that I bought, I don't even know if I actually mentioned that or if I cut it out yesterday, but but basically if you, I don't know if the, if the stabilization is gonna take care of that jiggle, but that's sitting on this little TV tray thing that I have here for the overhead stuff. And it is so flimsy that I, there's no way that I could shoot a video using it. So I bought a sturdier table that has like inch and a quarter steel legs and, and a support brace, and then an actual like compressed wood top. So it should be really sturdy. And then I'm gonna keep the contraption that I built so that the arm is not connected to the table and the table is not resting on the base of the arm structure that I built. So that way, if I put pressure down on the table and stuff, it's not gonna jiggle the arm with the camera hooked up to it. So I didn't build it for nothing. I am gonna keep using it. And that's pretty much it, but that's not coming until tomorrow sometime. So once that shows up, then I will pull it out, put it together, set it up, and then tomorrow, and this is the, the best laid plans, tomorrow I plan on actually then using all this stuff and doing an overhead video. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do it on, but that's not the point. The point is to test to see how all this stuff comes together and if I can do a decent overhead video. Now, I can, I can barely see this screen because it's so tiny, but I can already tell because I keep looking at the screen, which is off to the right of the, of the camera lens. So I'm sorry, it, it's gonna be obvious that I'm not looking at the lens. I guess I didn't pull my Casey Neistat and put my sunglasses on so you can't tell, but then you'd be seeing all the reflections and we don't need to do that. I just wanted to do some footage in proper studio lighting, which I already know is perfect, right? And see if this thing can handle it. So that's all I'm gonna talk about today. I'm just gonna continue to test this. Once I get this done, as soon as it's nice enough out, I'll put the 360 module back on and go out and roller skate. But that's not happening for a while because now it's gonna start raining probably for the next several days. So most of the stuff is gonna be in this office or in the Forerunner, we'll see. That's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments or questions, suggestions, whatever, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.